Hey, what's the crack and welcome to or back to the channel. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how you can add the most organic looking handheld camera shake to footage that was shot locked off on a tripod. And by organic looking, I mean, we're gonna be copying the actual handheld camera shake from a piece of footage that does have camera shake and apply that to footage that we want to appear like it was shot handheld, but wasn't. For this to work, you're going to need a reference clip that does have camera shake in it for you to copy from. And you're going to want that to be the same length or longer than the clip that you intend to apply it to. The rest is gonna be done inside of DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump in and take a look. In the color page, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do here is come to the fifth icon of this set of icons here to open up your tracker options of which you have three. The middle one here is your stabilizer tracker window. We can leave all of the settings on default except for smooth. I'm gonna turn that up to the full value of one and then hit stabilize. And then what I'm gonna do is assess the results of this set of tracking options. The reason for this is if this looks really smoothed out, I know for sure that Resolve has done a good job of reading the camera shake in this shot. A quick bonus tip for you, if you're looking at the graph here in the stabilizer and you're not seeing a whole lot of tracking information, it's probably because it's actually really subtle. And you can actually use this little dial here or this little slider to zoom in and better see the tracking information. You may need to tweak the settings to find something you're happy with, but if you are happy with the tracking information, you can move ahead to the next step, which is come up to the three dotted icon here for your drop down menu for some extra options. And then we're going to click on copy track data. You'll then want to switch to the clip you're looking to add the camera shake to and do the same. Click on the three buttons for your drop down menu and this time hit paste track data. Then we'll want to change strength to minus one and smooth all the way up to one. The reason I'm making strength minus one is because this will make sure that the camera shake we're adding is in the correct order. If this was a plus one value, it would be an inverted version of the camera shake from our sample clip. So for me personally to start with, I prefer a minus one value. Then we'll hit stabilize to actually apply that to the clip properly and assess. For me personally, this is a bit too aggressive, so you can play with the smooth and strength settings to dial this in. I regularly find myself splitting the difference on both of them to a 0.5 and a minus 0.5 value. Remembering you can also experiment with plus values for the strength setting. Then lastly, you'll always want to consider adding some motion blur to a shot that you've added any kind of camera movement to, to make sure it feels natural and organic. Now, I make a mistake at first when assessing the motion blur here by having the playhead on a frame of footage where, as you can see from the tracking data here, there isn't actually a whole lot of motion in the shot. So you'll wanna make sure you put the playhead on a frame of footage where there is some motion, that way you can actually assess the motion blur accurately. Now in this case, it's a pretty subtle shot. So to get any noticeable difference in motion blur with these settings, I had to crank it all the way up to 100. And even then it's still super subtle. But the point here is you'll always want to assess it and see does a shot need motion blur added? Sometimes you can get away with none. As always, I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, please do consider giving the video a thumbs up as well as subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell so that you can see more content just like this. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next video. We came to fight.